Hey guys and welcome to my channel and this video for today I thought we could do a cute little bookmarks, winter bookmarks and I will be using this Gestarke watercolor paper, it is 24 by 32 centimeters but that really doesn't matter because we will be cutting those bookmarks into shapes that we're gonna do so it just doesn't matter how large your paper is. Also I will be using these watercolors from Sennelier and first thing I'm going to start with the sketches for all four of our bookmarks. That is how I'm going to start. And the first bookmark is going to be a little glove. And this one will have no fingers, just a thumb. And everything else is going to be a one part of the glove. So I'm going to do it quite simply. And you can sketch inside the embellishment as you like. You don't have to do the same thing as I did. And also I'm using quite, quite dark pencil so you could see my sketch but also you can make it in a lighter pencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is also roll on top of it uh, this needed eraser just to pick up the excess graphite because I really don't like when that graphite is floating everywhere on my watercolor so I'm just removing the excess of it. First thing I'm um, just getting this red, this is something like a primary red and adding that on top of my glove and I'm not really thinking about where I'm adding it, nothing particular, just adding it. You can go outside the borders of your glove, that's also fine because later on we will be cutting it so you don't have to stay within the borders of your sketch. Now mixing in that red and a little bit of the green as its complementary color just to create a little bit less saturated red. I do want to mute it down slightly and afterwards I just picked up some clean water and sprinkled on top of clean water just to create beautiful blooms and I do love that texture that I can get with the clean water. Afterwards I'm sketching the second one. It's going to be a tree. And this one again, quite simple. Let's not complicate with our bookmarks. And the tree trunk, also a few embellishments on my tree, circles for the bubbles. And that's basically it, nothing special. Just again, using this kneaded eraser to pick up the excess graphite. And the tree I will be painting in green. And first I'm starting with this a lighter green. This is, you can use something like a sap green to paint in the left part. And I'm going around my bubbles because I don't want to paint on them. Later on when I add a little bit of the paint on them, I really don't, since the watercolors are transparent, it's hard to cover one watercolor with the other. So I do want to skip the part where I painted those larger bubbles so I can later on add a little bit of the color there. And just mixing in, in, in it a little bit of the darker green and also going on the left side, I will make the left side a little bit darker and the right side a little bit lighter. And you, you can paint your tree just the one same even wash. I did want it to make it a little bit more interesting. So I have painted left side a little bit lighter and right side a little bit darker. Also, I will be adding a little bit more of the paint on top to make it slightly again darker. And just picking up the clean water to spread that paint and as I said a lighter on right side. A little bit of the splatters again with the clean water. And I came back to my glove and added a little bit more of the splatters with water because you know it started to dry, paint started to dry so now the blooms are even more, more beautiful. When the paint started to dry, you can see how it looks. It actually looks like I was using salt, but I really wasn't. I was just using a clean water, gorgeous blooms. And for the third one, I will be painting a cup, a mug with some cocoa in it and marshmallows and just doing the sketch again for that cup and a few marshmallows on top. Picking up the excess graphite with needed eraser and I have mixed in a lighter blue with some green to create a turquoise color. If you do have a turquoise color you don't have to mix, you can use your turquoise. And now starting with my mug and I'm starting on the right side again. I do want that right side to be a little bit darker 
and actually left side to be a little bit darker and right side a little bit lighter. So again, adding some darker blue on the left side and on the top of my mug, just here and there where I do want some parts to be darker and leaving the middle part and the right part a little bit lighter. I've added some, this is something like, a, I wouldn't say it's black, but it, it is something like a paints gray. I have added in uh, in my blue and just painting in the marshmallows. Actually, they are white. So this, what I'm painting right now are just the shadows. So again, I've painted the left side darker and then washed my brush and spread the paint on the right side. Also added a few splatters on top. And for the fourth bookmark, we will be doing a gingerbread house. And just again, starting with my sketch. And I have picked up, well, actually, I've added a little bit of the splatters again with clean water to my mug, just again to create even nicer blooms because the paint started to dry slightly. So the water gives it a little bit nicer effect. With this masking marker, I am masking in the part which I want to leave white on my gingerbread house and just doing those ice icicle, ice needles sticking from the top of the house, doing some windows and doors and a little bit of the embellishments. You can again embellish your house just as you like. You don't have to do it exactly the same as I do. If you have an idea how you want to embellish it, just go ahead and do it. Of course, if you don't have a marker, masking marker or masking fluid, you can use a little bit later on a white gouache on top of your paint just to create those white spots, those white embellishments. You don't have to use a masking marker. I picked up a little bit of the lighter brown. This is something like um, raw sienna, I would say, and just painted in the house and then adding a little bit of the darker brown just to create some darker parts, a little bit of the interest to my house. Again, painting in the left side, a little bit darker and the right side, a little bit lighter. I've added also some of the yellow just to make it a little bit warmer, a little bit more interesting. And when I was happy with my paint, I added a couple of splatters with the clean water for the texture and just went back. The tree is almost dry. Maybe it is dry completely. And I've added some yellow. This is, well, slightly shiny yellow to paint in those bubbles and also added a few embellishments on my tree with a red I used for the glove. I left it all to dry completely and then removed my paper from the block and also cut in in those separate bookmarks. And now I will work on each of them with this ink pen. And this is brush ink pen from Etcher. If you don't have a brush ink pen, brush shaped, you can use any ink pen that you have. It will definitely be fine. You don't have to have this brush ink pen. And I'm going on top of the sketch I drew earlier and also adding a little bit more of the embellishments. Again, just as you please, you can add them as you like, whenever, wherever you like. And also you can use maybe a white gel pen or white gouache to add in embellishments. You don't have to make them black. Some also watercolors. This is a mix of red and a green just to mute it down. And I have added some shadows and again, some diversity to my glove. It was just looking too light for me and I wanted to add a little bit more of the paint. So if you're happy with the paint on your glove, you don't have to do this step. You don't have to add any colors because you know, you might go on top of your beautiful blooms and just cover them all. And that's not something we want. We want to see them. And for the second one, also doing the ink pen, going on top of the sketch. And you can see that the lines were inside of the painted part because I wasn't really careful to stay within the lines of my sketch. Later on, we will cut that so it will look nice whether we 
have some green behind our lines or not. Same thing for the cup. Again, a little bit of the embellishments with that ink pen. And I decided to write in the text, holiday season. If you are planning to give this bookmark away, you can paint in someone's name or a note, whatever you like. At the end, again, I decided to add a little bit more of the paint to some parts of my mug. Just being careful not to cover all those beautiful blooms that I got with clean water. But I did want to add some of the shading to the mug. Some splatters in that same color. And for the gingerbread house, um, with the, just a, an eraser, this is a very hard eraser, I have removed the masking fluid and with ink pen going on top of my sketch. And I won't be adding ink pen all around the windows and doors, just some parts. A few splatters with the same brown I used. And again, for the glove, just I'm going back and forward <laughs> with my with my uh, bookmarks, but you can do one complete one and then move on to the second one because while some parts of the bookmark are drying, I'm just finishing off the other bookmarks. So I'm just moving from one to another, skipping from one to another, a little bit more of the embellishment and details to the first one and a lot of white, white splatters again to the glove it just gives it i don't know something nice and special and also a lot of splatters with white gouache to my tree and i also decided to pick up some of the yellow and very very saturated to add it on the lower part of the bubble just to create some shadows splatters with red with white gouache on top of the mug with blue and white gouache and you can see I'm just using the colors that I did use for painting particular bookmark. And I've added a little bit of the yellow because I wanted to warm down that mug slightly. So I've also added a few splatters with white with yellow and also added some of the light white gouache to the marshmallows. More embellishments, some stars with ink with this is actually white gel pen. And also white gouache on top of my house, gingerbread house. And some more details with brown, some shading beneath the windows, around the doors. And that's basically it. I'm done with painting and now I'm cutting those bookmarks and I'm not going, you can see I'm not going on the border that I did draw with the ink pen, but just slightly outside that border because I do want that black line to be visible. And with this puncher, I have punched holes to put in some rope. And with that, I'll be finishing with my bookmarks. And I do believe this is a fun idea if you want to give something a quick uh, Christmas gift or something like that. Just the last minute. This is a great idea. You can do shape, whatever shape you like. And those are the four I did. And if you do like this video, if you do like this idea, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for all your support, for watching this video. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.